today I'm going to be showing you guys how I package and ship all of my press on orders. So I know that this video will be really, really helpful if you want to start selling your own press ons and there's not that many good videos out there to watch. And what I want to do for you guys is give you guys a good video to watch if you're interested in starting to sell your own or if you're just interested on how I personally package and ship my own orders. So I'm going to be showing you guys the first things that you'll need. Of course, you're going to need your custom made nails. These are some really pretty Playboy nails that I just made for somebody. So you're going to need a box to put them in. I get these boxes on eBay or Amazon. I also have these boxes the pink ones and they're kind of the same as these it just depends on which one i feel like using that day and then i have these ones as well these are available if um somebody wants to order more than one set at a time which you will be getting so that's this kind of box and i place all of the nails underneath the cotton that comes with it so if you're interested in getting these boxes you're just going to type in cotton filled jewelry boxes on either ebay or amazon and a lot of options will come up and honestly i just look at reviews and look at which ones are the best and then i go from there and i also like to find these cute ones in cute colors packaging is really actually really important to me i think packaging is something cute i want my customers to feel like they're getting a cute little package every time they get their nails in the mail so this is what I put on top of the nails once I'm ready to ship them off. So I'll put this in. Please excuse my nails. They're so ugly. This hand's cute. This hand's ugly. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to put the lid on. And from here, what I do is I like to make kind of make them look really cute by putting my own logo on there so if you're interested in buying these for your own company or if you're interested in starting a company of your own even if it's not press on nails it could be anything you would just need to go on vistaprint that's where i order mine from and there's usually a lot of good cute coupons and stuff on there too so depending on which style you want it costs more or less depending on the shape and then the um if you want them shiny or if you want them matte they're all different prices and these are what i get and this is how they look after they look super cute super professional and you know you can start your own business with these you can create your own logo i created my own logo and i actually created it um through vistaprint as well it, vistaprint actually lets you create your own logo and then print out your own stickers your own business cards whatever you want and after this, I like to take some form of ribbon like this, something really cute um, to wrap it in so that it looks really pretty. And I always make sure I have a lot of options available. So just depending which color I feel like using that day is the color that I'll use for my my customers or my clients. You know, even if they're technically my customers because they're just purchasing something from me and I'm shipping it off to them. I still like to call them my clients. So to me, all my customers are my clients. And so now I just grab this and then I kind of wrap it into like a little bow, make it look cute. And I felt like this was the perfect opportunity to film a video like this because I'm shipping this order off to her already. So. So now I'm just going to wrap it. And I know that this video was pretty highly requested as well. A lot of people wanted to see how I ship my orders or how to make press-ons, things like that. So I will be making another video on how to make press-on nails as well. Just in case you're interested in starting to sell them or, you know, you have someone that wants to start selling them and you want to show them the video. Um, and please make sure to leave your feedback down below. I really want to know what you guys think.
about the videos. I know I'm new to all of this, so I'm still getting used to it. And to make it look cute, I just like cut it at an angle right here. And there you go. And it's a cute little box. The pink it looks super cute too. You could wrap this one and it's like this. And then from here, the next step you'll need is something to mail your package in. So from here, what I take is a poly mailer. So, or there's sometimes they're called bubble mailers. So I also try to buy these super cute. This might be really bright on camera. I'm not sure. So I usually buy these. They're um, the size six by 10. And I have different colors of them as well. So you could purchase a lot of different colors. I buy these again on Amazon or on eBay, whatever you decide. And also remember if you're, you know, starting to sell a lot, it's always better to buy in bulk. That's how you're going to save the most amount of money and get the most the best out of what you're buying so i buy these in packs of i think 25 or 50 at a time so and i go through them really fast so just keep that in mind and i grab it and then i sh i put it inside and then my next step is the supplies for the press on nails so with every single one of my orders i provide a cuticle pusher I provide a nail glue two nail files and an alcohol wipe so this is everything that comes in the order and I put it into this little bag these little bags are super cute. They just make your order look cute and there's something to put your stuff inside of. So before doing this, I actually just leave everything there and I grab this and I put some little decorations in here just so it looks cute and presentable. So I grab some of these little rose petals and I just put them in fake rose petals of course so they're just like that and this is how it'll look after and then I grab the nail files the cuticle pusher this and this and I put it all into this little bag and then I always throw in a little something for my customers. So I put some of these cute little stickers in there. You know, I know a lot of people like them, but you know, there is some people that might not. So I mean, a lot of people have younger siblings or little cousins or anything they could just give them to. So these are super cute and I just throw these in here too. And I buy those in a big pack on Amazon as well. And then my next step is the thank you card. So I have a lot of different ones. You could buy them from a lot of different places. Just search up thank you cards on Amazon and there's a lot of different options. You could buy them from the store if you want to, but I know we're all in quarantine, so it's probably not the best choice. But yeah, I get these ones. And I always write a handwritten thank you note as well. So I know this says thank you, but I always like to write something for my clients just to make sure, you know, that they know that they're appreciated, that they know that I'm really grateful for them ordering. And so that they just have a little something from me, specialized from me, you know, other than the custom made nails. I grab some markers and I just decorate this from them. You know, it's a little something, it's just taking the extra step to make sure your clients, they know that they're important to you. So I'll grab this and then. Have 
a safe day. So I always like to tell them, you know, especially now during these times that we're going through to have a safe day. You never know, like it could just resonate in somebody's head for the rest of the day. And I know a lot of people are still working right now, too, and they're putting themselves at risk for other people. So I just like to decorate this for them. Make it really cute. And I do that. And then I'll just grab any random color from here, whichever color I feel. Um, she ordered pink nails, so I feel like she like might like pink. So I do this. This is what it looks like after super cute and then i always like to put a little quote for them too i know that this might be a little excessive a little extra but again it's just a little something to make sure your clients feel like they're appreciated so i always like to search up little quotes and stuff on pinterest or anything like that And then I'll just put something cute like that. I always switch it up so I'll find quotes on Pinterest. Right now I can't find quotes on Pinterest because I'm using my phone to record. But I usually find like a quote. I just thought about this off the top of my head. There we go. And then I'll just grab this and then I'll pack it up. And I'll put it in here. And then this has a little tie where you just shut it. And this is the little package that they get. It's so cute. It has little butterflies on it. And then I'll put it inside here with their package. And then after this, what you do is you print the shipping label and you apply it to their package and then you ship it off to them. And the shipping I choose is always between two to five days. And that's how long my clients usually receive their packages in. All my clients in San Jose always receive their packages within two days. And my clients out of state always receive it within four days. So that's just something to keep in mind. And I hope you guys like this video. Bye!